While shifting focus down south, AI ADMK chief Jay Lalita has expelled a senior party leader for having overstepped his mandate and uh, for having revealed more than what was necessary. K. Malai Sami had yesterday claimed that Jay Lalita and Modi were good friends and that she would like to keep close ties with Modi if he became the prime minister. So clear message being sent uh, by Jay Lalita here. For more, let me quickly go across to our editor from the south, T.S. Sudhir, who's now joining us live. Sudhir, what is the unequivocal message that Jalalta is trying to send across? Because many believe that Jalalta moves in mysterious ways. Well, absolutely, Ruchika. In fact, Jalalta wants to make it very clear that no one can speak on her behalf, that no one from the party can actually speak unless authorized to do so. And in this case, she does not appreciate the fact that it is being conveyed that she is open to doing business with Narendra Modi or the NDA because as far as Jalita is concerned, her first priority still remains the possibility of a third front government because she still sees herself as some kind of a prime ministerial candidate should a third front uh, uh, still emerge if the third front which consists of parties like the AIDMK, the TMC, the TRS, the YSR Congress, the Biju Janta Dal and along with some other parties like the JDS, the SP or the BSP can cobble up numbers around 150 and should the NDA fall shot of the magical mark of 272 the third front with outside support of the congress could take a shot of power that's the kind of situation that jelta would hope for and should that happen she would want to explore that possibility which is why Malay Sami is saying that a super NDA kind of a structure where jelta could do business with narendra modi hasn't really gone down well with the tamil nadu chief minister T.S. Sudhir, many thanks for joining us and getting us the very latest uh, well on that note we'll wrap up this bulletin